Oh, yellow red. Oh, yellow yeah, red. Okay. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back. So, we are en route to our. Oh, it's so bumpy. To. Oh, my God. Go on, go for a third thing. Oh. <laughs> Just as I say it. So, today we are going to Finlock. It's like the little domes I was telling you about in Enniskillen. Um, so, Jeremy actually got me this trip away for my birthday back in February, and it is tonight. So, very excited. So, we're escaping to a bubble dome. I may have gotten into a little bit of a fight last night with the tan bottle um, and as you can see it's tan tan one I decided at like one o'clock I was gonna put tan on and I actually ran into the bedroom I was like um, I'm gonna call you in a second to do my back and he just starts roaring into the fits of giggles and I was like what is so funny he was like hey, you want me to do your tan your back <laughs> and I was like yeah who else is gonna do it um, but um, I couldn't see what I was doing and yeah, my hands are destroyed so I feel like a dirty, dirty, dirty Dorito. Like the, yeah, like the uh, Oompa Loompa hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call you Oompa Loompa for the whole Shut blood. up, <laughs> I'll call you Milk Bottle. I fucking wasn't looking at the overhead, turned down. Oh my god, you're after missing our turn again. I fucking again. missed the fucking turn. Again? <laughs> again? We're only two minutes in. It was fucking two minutes away and now I'm 15 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault. <laughs> Where's that my fault? You're thought? supposed to be my co-pilot. <laughs> and you're not really co-piloting there now too much for me. Come on. But in fairness, we are coming um, from the, uh, the other side. So. Yeah, but I guarantee you it's on the other side of the sign as well. Like it has to be. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh that is so pretty man. Oh that's out there. Isn't it? Actually just before we go in here, right, so Jim read about half an hour ago ran in and came out with some roses for me <laughs> and um he does this all the time. Like this is like something that Jim always does. But as you guys know, last year lived with my ex and used to go to Aldi, right, with him to get the food shopping. And I'd be picking up my own flowers. He'd be with me and I'd be buying my own flowers every week. <laughs> the, the your man who used to serve us every week he literally had to he called him out on it one week being like what are you doing like you're letting your girlfriend buy her own flowers like and made a show of them um anyways i continued buying my own flowers but you know if someone's not meant for you the universe is going to show you in loads and loads of little ways because they're not your person because your person is going to make you so fucking happy and do the little tiny things like like <laughs> What were you doing right there? Damn, oh damn. Right, little outfit of the day. I'm wearing like a really little pretty summer dress and I never normally wear summer dresses in Ireland so like I, I don't feel like I'm in Ireland, like I think I'm in my holly box. Um, but this is just from Bershka, the cardigan's Primark and this is also Primark. I finally met a man who carries as heavy, travels as heavy as me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Right inside. Right inside. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a little village. <laughs> the restaurant is just up here on the hill. So okay. It says the barn up there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, I see one. <laughs> That's mad. <laughs> Can you see into other people's domes? No, no it's private. Yeah, okay, hopefully, because it's see through. <laughs> it's, oh, they the little kids. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> What's going on? Stay out of our castle, <laughs> of our little bubble dome. To the dome. <laughs> this is so cool, baby. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> Do you want me to have? <laughs> oh, this is sick! What the hell? Like, who even ever came up with this idea? So she was just telling us that you can't actually lock the bubble domes. You can only lock the gate because that's the only entrance. I can see a little bubble dome over there. Oh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the heat. The heat. Our bubbles... Why is our bubble going down? Our bubble's going down! Well, that's not good. Oh, baby! Baby! Come here! Oh, that's so lovely! Oh, baby, what a surprise! Champers! Is that the toilet? Yeah. It's not as warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually not, is it? Oh, 
Oh my god, baby, the heat. There has to be a fine bit. She said the thermometer is above the bed. Up there. She was saying if you get cold, but. Well, I put it down to fucking nothing. What is it on? It was up on top. <laughs> That's not going down, it just looks like it was. Oh, okay. This bubble is a hazard. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just show you what just happened. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then wait, wait, it gets better, it gets so much better. <laughs> Think though. I didn't see you it. Didn't... I just like I've never <laughs> stayed in a bed like that. Oh, that sounded sore. I am sweating balls, baby. <laughs> yeah, I love a bit of prosecco. Do you pop that like? Yeah, it's pop. Have you heard? No, no, but watch your eye. Ooh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Power up, baby. <laughs> what do you think? It's a lot better than wine. Isn't it? Way it's a lot lighter than wine, yeah. but the bubbles can go with your head. Oh, can they? Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing about Prosecco. Oh, baby, that was such a nice touch. Thank you. No problem. Oh, two cookies. Oh, yeah. sick. We need to come outside because we are dying in there. They left like this little chair, which is so nice. I know. Me and Jeremy were just saying it's going to be so hard to top this place. Yeah. You won't. You won't? No, you literally you won't, won't you top won't. it. We wish we were here for two nights. Despite the heat, it doesn't matter. It's just what, what is it about it? I don't know. It's just like I've never been anywhere like this before. Like. It's so unique. It's yeah. so private. Like just. It, it really is a couple sort of spot. Like you yeah. wouldn't come here with the lads or the girls. I don't think no. you would get. Yeah. And you would get girls coming here with your friends. Are, yeah, it is a real couple yeah, spot. Yeah. yeah. But like even like the speaker, like the quality, the speaker and the music, like it just like no one's gonna bother you here. And like yeah. even the staff, so friendly, yeah, so yeah. accommodating. It makes such a difference. And like, oh, we literally got here and we're like, how are we gonna talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have the spa in like less than an hour now, so I'm so excited. Yeah. We are spa ready. So <laughs> I've got my bikini on. Ta-da! Um, so this is just from Zafo. This is do you hear that echo? I got this like a couple, like about three years ago when I did like a testing Zappa bikini oh, video and I never got to wear it. But here wore it. it? I never got to wear it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, hey, Mary? We're leaving our little pod and as I was saying, you can only lock the gate, you can't lock the dome and I am such a warrior when it comes to <laughs> safety and security <laughs> and just me and my things being safe. Like I'm just like, are they going to be okay? <laughs> are you sure someone can't sneak in? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I lock, when we get out of the car, it's like, do you lock the car? Yeah. Are you sure you lock the car? Yeah. Running back. Yeah, Reggie, you have to go back and check it herself. Um, I'm actually, I'm having so much anxiety right now. See, I can see their pod. Like. Yeah, but they, they have a bike there. We can get them bikes and we can cycle and be quicker. Yeah, but they can see our pod. <laughs> so I just have my cycling shorts on with my little bikini, little cardigan. I actually remember feeling good on our summer holidays. <laughs> <laughs> like I've never done nothing like this in Ireland. No, no, she said it was a two or three minute walk. They have little like houses as well as the pods, so like they're definitely the houses, aren't yeah. they? They're the little houses, the lakeside houses, which are really cute too, but they're not. <laughs> you okay? Hi. Hi. I feel like we're in like an unknown little world. Come on. It's a woman. <laughs> Good man. Good man. She just said we need to get your shoes and we went we both went to like this. She was like, no no not your shoes. I need to give you shoes. I love when no one questions that. You run out and have a choice in the No. <laughs> so first off is the flotation room. I've actually Oh no baby, I have done this before. I'm in Iceland. I have I floated in Iceland. We were in the floaty pool in Iceland and it was sick. Like you literally fucking heat of it. <laughs> is it really hot? So this is our first little room of the spa. Oh, it's stinging me! Like, oh. Your cuts, is it? Yeah. It's stinging. Oh, you look so. <laughs> is that really shallow? Or? It's shallow, but I'm still small. Do you like it? I like it. Yeah, but it's gonna take me a second to get used to it. <laughs> it's so my face after shaving. God damn! What? Oh, it's hot. Oh, you're making such a meal out of nothing. It stings. You have a cut on your back now. Is it stinging it? Stop. Lads, like, come on in the comments. Men are more dramatic than us women, and we're the ones who get the fucking stick for being drowned. Uh, 
He's more proud of kings. My face is. I'm floating. I'm sinking. <laughs> My ass is on the floor. How are you floating? You're so much bigger than me. Just I'm um, a flirtatious sort of guy. Having a bit of problems here right over the door. We got there. I don't want to look like I'm about to do the walk of shame out of someone's house. Well, I hope you're not. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in trouble there. <laughs> I just right. I don't know why I bothered my whole front hand on last night because it's all gone, but it's not gone off my hands. So I literally look like a lunatic now. <laughs> I was telling Jim that um, as a woman, <laughs> when I get out of the bath, if I don't go toilet quick, like the water, like you know, some water gets stuck up there and it's gonna just start coming out itself. And he's like, what you what you have to do what <laughs> so she just poured us like a little teapot of tea and i was trying to be all sophisticated pouring it but look what happens when you pour it it just goes fucking everywhere stressing me out i'm not an, an aesthetic youtuber <laughs> there's no hands on <laughs> what's that about then? you just pick it up <laughs> Fucking harsh. I know. All you need now is a cigar and um, a rocking chair and a dressing gown. Yeah, that's not a bit of me either. Isn't it? No, I don't think so. Do you know what I'd love is like to have like, do you know when like your shed, to have something like this? Oh, like know. when, you know, in your own house. Yeah. Like a little barn kind of area. Wouldn't yeah. that be so sick? I just feel like the little details of like the logs and all. It's so, like that little, that little <laughs> cranny. It's so cute. What about the horse and the jeep? Fucking hell! Settle down, is where you ever bought the whiskey in front of you. It's good for anxiety. <laughs> I have anxiety, man. Of a lichy lake. Do you reckon our things are still gonna be there? No. Do you reckon someone's come and robbed them? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. My palms sweaty, knees weak. Weak arms are heavy. <laughs> We've only got about not even an hour to somehow sort out this hair. And this face for dinner. The face is okay. God no, it's damn. not. It is. <laughs> Obviously had to wash. Oh my god, what was that echo? Yeah, it's very bad and you don't know. I obviously had to wash my hair after that and I went to put it on I was going to put it into plaits, but I didn't bring any bobbins with me. So this is just gonna have to do for dinner. This wet damn fucking hair. <laughs> if you were ever coming somewhere like this, don't do your tan the night before. Don't wash your hair the night before. Go as a minion dirty little rag doll. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, what's the fucking point? Disaster number two. Took my earrings off before we went to the spa and one of the bloody little backs of my earrings fell down here. Down here. Into the side of the bed. And like, it, it's into a big hole. So like, it's like just in there and then you can't, there's no like way to access it from outside it. So... It's not fair how quick it takes you to get ready. I was in there for a half hour and then I come out uh, to put on my shoes and my jeans and my shirt. That was oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> it ain't easy, eh? Big fucking head now! <laughs> Can you see it? Where did it go? Babe, you're going a bit red. Come on. Babe, you might lose circulation. <laughs> so ready for dinner now. We're going to dinner. So I'm wearing this little dress from Bershka, which I freaking love. Just my little Nike runners because we're a little bit walk from the restaurant. My cardi and then my ASOS bag is out. And wet hair. <laughs> 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 I wish I wore fucking trousers. I wish I wore You told me to wear a dress. Yeah. You want to see my legs out, you fucking bastard. <laughs> that you got, babe? Oh my god. <laughs>
we were just saying like we've not bumped into one other person who's staying here yet yeah. which is like sick because like you're just walking along all these like really quiet paths so like we're walking up to the bar now and well i suppose if you think about it there's like 15 pods and yeah. then how many of the little lodges do they have here oh i don't know how much they said there was loads here maybe like another 15 but there could be like 30 all together yeah but um but i suppose that's not a bunch of people considering like how yeah. big the Every, area yeah, is. Is. oh yeah you can go on kayaks here as well and there's like little bikes you're able to take up there oh this is so cute oh cosmopolitans are so good i think i'm gonna get that I might be carried them home after this one it's got quite a bit of a kick to it i think the taste rotten look at the <laughs> look at the look <laughs> Right lads, okay, we've just come to the restaurant and it's like the restaurant Jeremy brought me to on our first date. It is so fancy like. It's like really fancy meals. Dinner was lovely, but I am feeling so sick, like so sick. Yeah. How are you feeling? Do you I'm, know, I'm not too bad, but like I'm not lactose intolerant. So. Yeah, do you know what I think it is? Like I am lactose intolerant and I wasn't really looking. Well, you it's really hard to know what's in food when you're lactose intolerant. But that food wasn't a bit of me though. Obviously. Yeah, it wasn't a bit of me either. It was too fancy. fancy yeah. Too fancy for us. Like yeah. we're simple creatures. Yeah. It's like, you know, like give us a steak and a mashed potato. And we're good to go. Like we yeah. are happy with that. Like this mushroom shovel look just no more. Do you want to tell the people what you just I did nothing. I did nothing. Do you want to tell them what you just did? No. So I go to Jeremy. You might put the light on there for us, will ya? <laughs> and he goes, like, clicking the light switch, right? Babe, I, I don't think that they, they come on at night because it's not coming on. And I was like, no, Jeremy, they have to come on because there's, like, a, a plug, a switch. There's, like, the electric thing that you put your little key in outside the door. So I was like, are you sure? No, babe, they don't come on at night. That's why there's a torch in here. So we walk around with the torch. And I was like, Jeremy, we, it's not funny. Hundreds of euro a night for a torch. He didn't have it plugged in. Let, let's just Lock get. Let's system. just cut to the the yeah. chase, Obi. He, he didn't plug it. He had my strainer. He had my strainer plugged in. If or sorry, the blow dryer, not the lamp. If you didn't have some things plugged in there, I'd have been okay. What? It? All of the two plugs, is it? Yeah. If we didn't have so many of so many things plugged in, eh? <laughs> Tell the friends about the beaver so. No, I'm not going to tell any of Come on! No! Come on! No, I seen that TikTok. It's really interesting. No, it's not! Jeremy said that he found a TikTok that said it takes eight minutes. So when. You, okay. <laughs> When you go outside, and you know when a beam of sun hits your face, well, it's taken eight minutes for that beam of sun to what is it? To hit your face from leaving the sun. It's not in them specific terms, but it's on them a month path. <laughs> Can anybody please tell me if they understand what he's trying to say? I'm right. Oh, the tick is bad. The scratch is not tingling. Good morning from our bubble. <laughs> I am a hungover girl this morning. Yeah. We're really, we really regret drinking last night. It was like 3 a.m. by the time we went to sleep because we were just sort of talking. Yeah. So to be honest, we didn't have enough sleep um, because we woke up at like half eight. Breakfast comes around between nine and ten, so we're just waiting for breakfast now. But we were just saying like, when you go away, it's not worth drinking. Like, bear in mind, I only had maybe like six seven maybe drinks it's quite a lot isn't it's enough it? to feel sick over anyway yeah it is enough to feel yeah. sick over but also like we were saying you feel tired you feel groggy like i've got an nauseous stomach like you know you can have a headache you just like mm, like you know you're not fresh versus if you don't drink so we're just saying like going forward like we're not yeah, I, don't I don't think it's worth it like if you're trying to do something the next day you're... yeah like if you have plans and you want to do something like 
it's just not fucking worth it like and then also like i can get such bad anxiety yeah. after drinking like do you know yeah. what i mean like you're just so it's like fuck that and the other thing we were saying is that one night is not worth it like we're not doing one night away anymore aren't we no not no, two it has to be two nights. because we we're just saying like if we were here for a second night or whatever right you could wake up if you wanted to kind of have another couple hours in bed like take your time potting around then tip out do your bits you know there's no rush right it's when you're only one night i'm so blocked up yeah <laughs> the air con has me so stuffy um when you're only there one night you're trying to like jam everything in to such a short period of time therefore becoming exhausted yeah. <laughs> we're learning. learning we are learning, learning. so that that is great because this has been booked for so long we didn't know it was yeah yeah you know exactly also my freaking hair is like straw from that floating pool thing it was full of salt and um i washed it here last night but obviously it's not like it's my shampoo and conditioner so i don't really know what's in it um but my hair is just so dry even you said yours is yeah. <laughs> like for a man to say actually yeah it's a bit dry Do you know what i'm annoyed about girls you're gonna get it right so i had hair wash day the day before we came here and then I ended up having to wash my hair again yesterday and you know what i'm gonna have to do when i go home wash my fucking hair baby's got the goods so this is what our breakfast comes in Open her up, baby. Oh, it's so cute. Dairy free. Oh, they did give me dairy. Oh, unreal. Oh. Oh, this is so cute. A little ball of Prosecco. What are they? They're like, oh, I think they're pastries. Oh, babe, this is unreal. This is just what I need now with a fucking bit of a hangover. You can have that. <laughs> that's a bit of me. That, that's what I mean. Like, you love that. Oh, I'll eat the fruit and the. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Uh. Don't tempt me. Like, uh. nah. Uh. So, today's little outfit of the day, I'm just wearing these leggings from Pop Life, little sports bra, and little zip up, and then just got my runners on. We're thinking of maybe grabbing the bikes. Possibly, maybe I don't want to go. Uh. I don't want to go. <laughs> I've not been on a bike. I want to say since I was like 14 maybe. <laughs> I can see that. Fucking hell. Look at her in my vagina. She forgets how to use the brakes on it as well. They have this huge bubble. Look, show them. And this is used for like weddings and stuff. This is a big bubble. It's a proper unique wedding location. Yeah, they were saying it's for small weddings though. Yeah, she wouldn't get a big wedding. No. Anyway. The little path we have to cycle up here is <laughs> so close to the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going off into the wilderness. It's mad how things come back to you, like muscle memory. Like, I haven't rode a bike in, like, I want to say eight years or something. And I'm fucking flying out here, like, whoa! Bike ride and crisps it has cured my hangover. Maybe your paper. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, this is the castle. Fuck. Someone lived here, isn't that mad? Yeah. I'm so fascinated, fascinated by places like this. Like, I always love to know, like, I love to know the history and, like, what happened here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd say fucking battles went down, mad shit went down here. Jumper because I got really cold. <laughs> oh no, sadly demolished. I was saying to Jeremy that, that I'd love to, or like, would you like to go on a cruise? Because, like, I'd love to go on a cruise. And what did you say? I'm afraid of the water. Is the ship going down? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it pre our last vlog? <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the water. What water? In the sea. In clear. Oh, yeah, but I'm not going to drown there. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's war like yeah no but if i'm out in the open if i'm out in a ship in the middle of the war i'm fucked like if it goes down i have no hope i'm gone i was <laughs> saying that like i find it so peaceful oh, like i nearly like God. that like my one thing the one thing i don't why i do not want to die is drowning i just can't deal with the thought what about it. being lit on fire i'd rather be lit on fire than drowned oh no yeah 100 percent. oh no yeah that'd be so much more painful no i don't care it would, <laughs> it would take way longer to burn alive. I don't care. 
<laughs> See, this kind of shit is what fascinates me because this would have been. Oh, it's just. Like, what was that used for? Like, a hundred odd years ago. Look how creepy that is. It's just like a big fucking hole. And there's like, just like a dead tree in it. Oh, so the brickwork that you see is all that remains of the original building. What? So this was, this was part of the original building. Steam houses have been used throughout Ireland for hundreds of years. The modern equivalent would be a sauna. Oh, so that's oh. what it was. You used to go down and you're going to down into that. They were used as a cure for rheumatic complaints. Oh, so like pain, cold, clear spring water. Oh, so it was like a little pool. Yeah. That's fucking cool. I thought they were going to, I thought they like kept prisoners. That's the problem with cool. that, so th This part here was the steam room here. And then that. And then down there you go down into a plunge pool. So this is the original, the brick. Fuck. Oh, that's why the steps are there. Yeah. Then what? I wonder what that other little one. Jeez, that's a very deep pool. That's what that would be, yeah. Look how deep that is. I think they could maintain it a bit better than that. Like. Yeah. It's been time at the zoo, honey. We have got the goods. Here you go, Baba. Thanks. Oh my God, I'm so fucking looking forward to this. I'm actually starving after the bike ride and the walk and all. Yeah. Right, so belly's full and we are on route home. We were actually just talking about possibly going to Bali for like three or four weeks yeah. at some stage in when? In the very near future. In the yeah. very near future, yeah. So we're chatting about it. That's something that we just love, absolutely love to do. And neither of us have ever been, so we're gonna have a little look into See what that. Happens with the restriction. Yeah. yeah. It's impossible to book at and like I said to Jim, but I don't think it's worth booking at and abroad because you're just seeing people all the time, like they're losing money and then or even they go and travel, but it's just so stressful. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go away if it's going to be stressful. Like, fuck that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Highly recommend staying in Finlock if you never have. Um, definitely one for the bucket list. But yeah, that is our staycation number two. Where are we going for number three, baby? Where are we going? Where are we going? Jesse B, signing off. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys.